Morning y'all. It's Thursday morning, which is my Friday morning because I am off on family holiday tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So you will get videos on Saturday, Sunday and a daily vlog on Monday, which has already been filled, which will be connected to Saturday and Sundays. It's quite a fun one actually. Like, I hope you like it. But there'll be no daily vlog tomorrow. I'm on holiday. Yeah, do you, do you want one? Coffee order in for Mrs. Barfield. So yesterday's question of Offset, lots of people understand the premise of Offset, lots of people didn't as well, it's not interested. I'm sure those people use it, and I reckon people have been sold on it, not knowing what it is, which is not a problem. I mean, you don't have to understand everything you buy. My telly turns on, but I haven't got a clue how. But hopefully yesterday's daily vlog helps you understand what it can and can't do for you a bit more, the old Offset. So today's question, the winter is kind of coming and almost here. Do you slow down? Do you play less in the winter? Do you stop playing at all? Do you just keep playing the same amount? Let me know. Post your comments down there. Obviously, lots of you watching from all around the world, so the winter means different things for you, so let me know. Uh, in those winter months, play or not, more or less. Thumbs up, as always. Hit the subscribe button if you don't subscribe already. Make sure the bell icon is illuminated as well. Then you'll get your notifications. Uh, Mrs. Parfields. So today's swing has a bit of everything going on. Now I'm not saying you need to change everything, but it'd be worth playing with some of these ideas to see what it does to his shot shape. So we see a club that pushes to the right of the ball on the way out. He starts very close to himself, so he's got no real space in here. So we're gonna try and give him a little bit of room. That might help him not just push that club away. We then get quite weak club face at the top of the backswing, so maybe a little bit of a weak grip. So we're going to talk about his grip. And then we see a standing up of the shaft on the way down. And we also then see a massive standing up of the shaft as he comes in to hit the ball. So massive change in club shaft angle. So this player is doing everything he can to try and keep everything going kind of almost towards the target. Trouble with that high handle, that weak grip, I would see some inconsistent striking and certainly club face control. It would be fun to play with some of the ideas because I think there's lots of common issues that you all suffer from at home in this action. Well done Milo. School run. Yeah. I seem to be doing a school run every day this week, is that right? Mum is like busy, busy at school mm. today. I'm not busy, am I? <laughs> no, you're not, buddy. <laughs> so let's think about this. We had grip, takeaway, posture stood too close, standing the club up on the downswing, standing the club up through impact. So loads of points. I've broken it down. This really is what coaching is about, into three points that will deal with all of those points. That's the trick. You've got to try and get the student to do it as simply as possible, but try and cover as many bases as possible. So let's start with grip. I don't know, you're gonna to have to check this, but I don't reckon you've got the club here through your hands. I reckon you've got it more up here because you're so happy to stand that club up through impact, so get so much higher, which is easily done from that grip. So let's get your right hand through here. Easiest way to do that, club parallel to the ground, try and get toe end of the club straight up in the air, put your left hand straight down by the club and then hold on on top. It's impossible to not put the club through that part of your hand. So once you've got the club parallel to the ground, face pointing up to the sky, left hand, point your fingers at the ground and then just wrap it on. If you bring that back down to your dress position and that feels different, then your grip was encouraging high handle. So, new grip, it's gonna deal with face control, tick. So your face control is gonna be improved. You're not gonna have to think about using your wrist because you're using them quite well. Also, the standing up of the shaft at impact. It's not being ticked, but the ticking process has begun. is a Ryan Little production. So second idea about your posture and that you stood quite close also is going to deal with the way that you push the club away from you at the beginning. So if I stand as close as you, I also feel like I want to kind of start everything away from me, push everything out. It just makes sense not to hit your own legs on the backswing, doesn't it? The whole theme of your swing is very much this way and then standing the club up to try and recover. 
let's try and break that from the beginning. So look, what I want you to do, very simple idea, take your right hand off, top of your left leg, a fist to the thumbs width away from the butt end of the club. That will just give you a bit of room to then feel as you take that club back that you're just pulling it back a little bit more towards your right leg as your right leg gets out of the way. It's going to allow us to set up a bit more of a theme of this kind of idea opposed to this idea. And it will also allow us to get into the old trail arm shoulder rotation that needs some thinking about to get rid of the standing up of the shaft on the downswing and the way through. Let's answer your questions. What's up, bro? Um, I wanted to ask you a question about uh, overswings and regripping the club. So I've always had an overswing, thought it was to do me having really long arms. But it's not. I've realised I'm losing grip of the club at the top of the back swing and then regripping it. So I wanted to see if you had any drills in mind, any swing thoughts I should have perhaps when I'm on my back swing and transitioning to my down swing because uh, it's causing really inconsistent strikes and me making me lose a ball uh, as much as probably lucky is to be honest at the moment. So we really appreciate your help. Okay, bye bye. Losing the club at the top of your back swing because of regripping or losing your grip. Let me show you what I mean. So kind of this kind of stuff at the top. That's often to do, first point I would check is if your grip is here or here. We want it more in this part like we've done in today's lesson. Up here often is a little bit weaker and I can allow these kind of ideas. That would be the first thing I would check. Next things you could do, you could put some towel, something in your kind of pad, heel pad, grip it onto the club. Obviously if I get up to the top and do that regrip, it's coming out. So it's really about identifying that move. Because you almost do it subconsciously, you do it without you kind of knowing, you've probably spotted it on a camera, you're not really feeling it. Some people feel it. So other things I get people to do is I get them to turn their, so feel when their shoulders stop. So what I mean by that is when their shoulders stop, let their arms and the club stop. Some people's shoulders stop turning, but then the club just keeps going. Them adding extra levers, angles, then go to the club, when they don't need to. That often is a good thought for people. So when your shoulders stop, get that club to stop and then straight through. And then the other point, the main point is, is it actually the thing that's causing you to hit bad shots? You are quite definite it is. So give it a go and hopefully it fixes you and you're better. But golf's never that simple. I would definitely go and get a lesson and see if that is the issue that's making you hit your shots as bad as coach. Um, just kidding, coach. And I'd kind of say that with all lessons I deliver over a camera, they're generic and kind of just there to try and get you thinking. And to be honest with you, they're actually, I originally do them, did them, and I still do them, to try and inspire people to get coaching. Not even for me, because you can't get lessons from me, my diary is so controlled. Just go and get lessons from good pros, that's really what I want you all to kind of do. But a couple of good ideas there, give them a go. Right, I've been trying to do this all week. Where, there you are, there you are. I have been trying to eat this soup all week, but because I've had to go out in between rains and film, I've not actually been eating lunch much. I've been waiting for you. This is it. This is massive. Last tip's gonna deal with backswing direction as well as standing that club up, predominantly focusing through the right shoulder. That rotation is normally in that shoulder. So I want you to stand upright, Club out in front of you, pointing up at the sky. Then I want you to flatten your wrist. So lead wrist, flatten it with your left arm. Still stood upright. I want you then to just get the club parallel with the ground, keeping the flat left wrist with your left arm. Then for me, take your postures. If you're going to hit shots, that's me leaning forward from the waist. Turn all the way back and also demo that downstream with the same ideas. Presetting the rotation in this trail arm in your right arm. This movement is me basically rotating my right shoulder, but just out in front of me, which makes it much easier for lots of people to visualize and do flatten lead, rest with lead arm, rotate, so that's bringing that shaft down to the ground, posture, turn, and turn. Now you can do this at the range because I can actually hit balls like this. So basically, I would set up to the ball, then stand up, then put the club in front of me, then flatten the wrist then rotate and get the club off or the club shaft uh, parallel to the ground posture turn and hit getting your right arm to rotate this way which i've said many times you'll see other coaches talking about it lots makes it so much easier to lay that shaft down opposed to if you don't rotate that trail shoulder like you're doing so more this way it's much easier to stand that club up Unless you want the pathway left, you're going to get that massive raising up of that handle through impact which just 
as a whole, not for everyone, but for most certainly amateur golfers, makes it so hard to control a face to path. I actually filmed with a legend of the game recently who had a very high handle through impact. It was interesting, but we'll talk about that when those videos release. Off I go again. On the school run. It's me again. Yes. Only me, bruh. Miss the school pickup. Right, there we go. Thanks for watching. Interesting one today. Hopefully that shows a lot of you how, if we think about this student, there were lots of issues kind of connected and named, but people will hear individual issues, right? I think a good coach starts linking them up and kind of almost joining the dots to try and make it as simple as possible for a student. So if we think about what this student's got to do, they've got to think of grip and posture. Well, they're static changes, so you can get them ready at the start and then just switch them off. With that posture, you could think about pulling in that club a little bit more towards them but really it's about trying to get that trail shoulder to work once you've got the better setup in place so actually you could almost boil it down to one swing fall and that's what I love about coaching and I know the good coaches I speak to that's what they love about coaching really trying to work out a person and deliver it to them in a way that makes them find it in the easiest way find those good shots find that repeatable shot in the easiest way and obviously a bit different for me because I'm delivering it to thousands of people which is why I think the comment section always gets quite interesting and that's why I always go back to the same message get a lesson one to one's always gonna win these are little ideas you might see patterns that you can take to the range little drills and if they help you for a bit that's great but they should never replace a full one to one lesson post comments down below as always hit the thumbs up button if you love the daily vlogs remember do hit it. it helps me out YouTube likes a good thumbs up I am going on family holiday I better go and pack see you all next week <laughs>